Alrighty, so I've got an FR Sky uh, DJT module in the back of this transmitter here and I'm getting the telemetry data on the screen here and it's showing me various different signals. And one thing I've wanted to be able to do is to see the RSSI output in uh, clean flight. So I'm using an X8R receiver here and on the scope here you can see the signal that it's outputting. Now I notice this isn't the standard PWM signal that's coming out of here. This is a one millisecond uh, pulse, uh, one millisecond duration between each pulse, rather. And when the transmitter is on and it's got a good signal, you get a signal like that. When the transmitter is off, it inverts like so. So we'll turn it back on again for a sec. And you can see over here that it's uh, one millisecond between the two markers. Uh, which means that's a 1 kilohertz update rate. Now the clean flight code um, can't detect edges when the transmitter is off like this because the IRQ handlers are too slow to detect this very very small pulse which you see here. Now there's solutions to that but unfortunately you probably need to use more timers and all that kind of thing which sucks because there aren't enough of them um, you can do the master slave mode for PWN calculation like that, but that uses two, ch two uh, capture compare channels and interferes with other things, so that's no good. So it's sort of a bit hacky, but anyway, there's, there's a solution because basically we know that if the value which comes out um, is over the um, 1000, that means it's getting the edges detected wrong so it's detecting the trailing edge where it's supposed to be detecting the leading edge and the leading edge where it's supposed to be detecting the trailing edge instead of what it would normally do with a signal that's um, long enough as in it's got a large uh, time between the two things. Um, so here we can see on the screen um, some debug output there that's with the transmitter turned on you get a value of um, it's, it's actually increased by 1000 in the code but you get a value between 0 and about 970 when I've got uh, a decent signal. Uh, if I go and stick this in the microwave we'll come back and have a look at the signal. Hold on a second. Right, that's the transmitter in the microwave and uh, it should start beeping when I close the door. There it goes. Now obviously I'm not going to turn that microwave on but here's what the picture looks like on the scope now. So the microwave because it's um, got a, it's basically metal and the door's got um, uh, holes in a sheet of metal basically. It doesn't let all the radio signals out so it acts as a Faraday cage but not a particularly good one if you want to block this frequency clearly. Um, because signal is still getting out and there's about 50% signal strength. Um, the transmitter is sort of intermittently beeping um, it's set to beep when the signal gets to about 50%, I believe. It could be about 40%. Uh, so if we now have a look at the screen, we can see that, lo and behold, I'm getting value between halfway between 1,000 and 2,000, which is about 50-something odd percent, which is great. And if we switch over to the initial setup tab on here, we can see the RSSI value is hovering between 50 and 60% which is fantastic. So basically, that's good enough. That's going to work. That's basically a million times better than absolutely no information whatsoever coming out of one of these things. And the code isn't too ugly. Excellent.